Hey everyone, welcome back to Android Mate. In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to create a text-to-speech app in Android using Java in just 2 minutes, no external libraries needed. Let's get started. Let's quickly open Android Studio and create a new project with the provided configuration. Click on New Project and select an appropriate template like Empty Activity for a basic app. Next, set up your project name, package name and preferred language Java. Finally, configure the minimum configuration language, hit finish and let Android Studio set up your project. Now, we're ready to start coding. Next, let's create a main activity inside the Java folder. Right click on the package name, go to new and select activity, then empty activity. Name it main activity. This will be our entry point where we'll write the core logic for our app. Now, let's design a simple layout. Open the activity main.xml file under the res layout folder. Here, we'll add an edit text for user input and a button to trigger the speech. This will give users a way to type something and have the app speak it out loud when the button is pressed. We're using a constraint layout as the root, which allows us to position elements flexibly. Inside it, we've added a linear layout with vertical orientation to stack our views. First, we have an edit text with the IDEDT speech. It's styled with a custom background, supports multi-line input, and shows a hint saying, enter your speech. Below that, we have a material button with the IDBTN speech. It's labeled, speech, has a black background, and slightly rounded corners to give it a clean look. This layout is simple and intuitive, making it easy for users to type and trigger text-to-speech functionality. Now, let's add the text-to-speech functionality. Go to main activity, Java. Now, let's declare three important variables in our main activity. First, we have text-to-speech, which will act as our voice engine to convert text into spoken words. Next, we declare an edit text to capture the user's input from the screen. And finally, we add a button, which the user will press to trigger the speech output. Then, let's link the edit text and button from our XML layout to the Java code using their IDs. We use the findViewById method to connect the UI elements, so we can interact with them programmatically. Now, we initialize the text-to-speech engine. It needs a context and a listener to know when it's ready to speak. This method gets triggered once the text-to-speech engine has finished initializing. If the initialization is successful, we set the language to US English using local US. This ensures that the speech output sounds natural and uses the correct pronunciation for English words. That completes our text-to-speech setup. Now we add a click listener to our speak button. When the button is clicked, we fetch the text entered by the user from the edit text. Then we use the speak method to convert the text into speech. The queue flush means it will stop any previous speech and start this one immediately. That completes the button click logic. Finally, we override the on destroy method, which is called when the activity is about to close. We stop and shut down the TTS engine to free up system resources and avoid memory leaks. That's it. Our text to speech app is complete using just Android. Now you've seen how easy it is to add speech to your app using Java and Android's native tools. Let's run the app and see it in action. And that's it. We've successfully built a simple text-to-speech app in Android. Hello Android mate. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more Android development tutorials, and feel free to leave any questions or comments down below.
Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.